Hello and welcome to my first tutorial on setting up a house in TechIt. Um, I will be covering a wide, wide range of subjects uh, that can be very confusing to newer players and I will be covering them in a logical order. So I'll just start off with an empty house and then slowly build up showing you what I do. I will be explaining the principles and the methods and also be explaining what does what. So first of all you're gonna need um, power in your house and you're gonna do that through a power source, a battery box. Sh short name with, of that would be a bat box. Um, I will be showing you how to use this very useful search bar right here. Uh, first of all, you gotta go to options, and you should make sure your recipe. It's um, it says recipe mode, and done. As it's uh, if it's on cheap mode, you can obviously switch over by clicking it. If you didn't figure that out, um, imagine you want the recipe of something very easy like paper. You're just gonna search on paper, and you're just gonna click it, and it'll show you the recipe. What you also can do is right click it and it'll show you what you can make with it. So this will aid uh, very much in finding certain recipes. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need for making a bat box would be rubber. And if you haven't r already come across rubber, you might find it very hard to just think of where it might come from so I'll be explaining that to as well. Uh, what you want to do is you want to grab some wood and place it in this um, pattern. It'll make you a tree tap. This tree tap will basically form... Okay, so ignoring these tree taps over here. The first thing you want to do to get a... Uh, to get rubber will be create a tree tap using this pattern. You just take it out and you go to okay a so rubber. basically uh you have your tree tap here a creeper over there yeah the creeper is not recommend uh, it's not necessary though it's not mandatory um you got to find uh you're going to look for these darker um trees which you can typically find in swamps and they will have these very weird orange spots on them which basically is rubber sticky resin you're just gonna um, wilt your tree tap and then right click that spot with the tree tap. You want to get yourself about 18 pieces of sticky resin. Alright, so just look around the tree a bit. Maybe you want to take off some of this to make sure there's nothing underneath the leaves because that happens quite a lot actually. Oh, there's some more. And how much do I have? Twelve. Okay, so I'll just go on for a bit. And getting a few pieces. Ah, oh, there we go. That's some more. Fifteen. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so as quite intuitively, you can um, put the sticky resin into the furnace with the coal and it'll generate you rubber precious delicious rubber okay so now you've got your rubber you will need to make yourself some copper cables and that can be done with the following recipe right so this will create this pattern three rubber here three rubber there uh, three copper here will create copper cables which you are going to need. And then you need to grab some tin and some redstone. And you want to make four batteries in total. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. I can't count for shit, probably. Apparently. Um, like that. Redstone in the middle. And a couple cables on top. You're going to need th four of these. Alright. Now, you're just going to grab some wood again. That'll be sufficient. 
I actually just needed five, and you're gonna uh, three wooden planks at the bottom, two like as shoulders. Place the batteries right here with a copper cable, and it'll create. Okay, a so basically, bat box. what a bat box does is uh, it uh, stores the energy you create. You can just um, basically hook up a generator directly to the machines, but that means you're going to waste a lot of energy because it doesn't store the energy somewhere. Right, so you're just going to place this. I want to make my, I want to put my machines right here. So I'll just put it right here. Um, there's only one direction the bat box can output to, so you just. Uh, that direction will face you so obviously I want to put my machine right here so I'm gonna stand right there and place my bat box um, so that this O faces this this hole faces the way I want to uh, put my machines if you don't do this correctly you have to break it and make another bat box you can later on change this but it'll be a pain um, to do it right now because that will make the tutorial mega like extremely long. Next up you're gonna need a generator to fill the bat box. Um, I will go over the basics of a bat box as soon as I get it running. You're gonna need about eight of uh, eight iron and some coal. Um, the, the darkness you're seeing basically is some overlaid bug Right, so just put the coal in there, and it'll create refined iron. A refined iron would be the basic for the machine block, which is the basic ingredient for nearly every well machine. Well, that is um, generating refined iron. We're gonna put down some wiring so we can hook the machines up to that. So as you can see, this this hole is facing that way. So we want to place the copper right here, the copper cable and we want to um, uh, do about four because we're not going to use that many machines yet. Uh, what we're going to do next is um, you can uh, what, what you okay, can do, so I've got my refined iron right here and we're just going to put that in, we're just going to fold the entire grid with, uh, with the exclusion of this middle piece. And now we're just going to create uh, which could grab some um, normal cobblestone, which is really hard to find in this house for some reason. Uh, you're just gonna um, make a furnace like that. Uh, you remember the RE, RE battery we saved? Put it on top. Machine block in the middle. Furnace down at the bottom, and it'll create a generator. So we're just gonna place that directly next on this side to the bat box. Make sure it doesn't touch any of this because this is the input. So just place it there. So next you want to grab a um, just about a stack of coal, maybe less. Just gotta do it a bit less for this tutorial. And you just put them at the bottom in a generator. And what this will do, as you can see this here, this is a sort of a buffer. And it'll fill up as soon as the bat box is full. Um, so it can also save a bit of energy, store a bit of energy. The bat box, as you can see, is charging. This is the max power level, and this is the power level it's at, uh, currently on. And this will give you a good uh, indication of how much percent that is. You can use these two slots to uh, power, like to charge devices and batteries, but we'll go over that later on as we get somewhat more advanced. The same goes for the out. Um, it's uh, it's the equivalent of voltage, and hooking up machines uh, to a higher voltage directly, and then it can handle will just make them explode. But then again, um, this is just a basic tutorial for now, and I'll go over that in one of the next tutorials. So let this charge. Right, so first of all, we're going to create a. Um, iron furnace using iron ingots. Yeah, I can actually see, I, I just look at the recipe as a reference to make sure I'm not making any mistakes for you guys. We're going to create, um, 
which is going to end up making more copper cables. Alright, so now the last six pieces of rubber. Did I just say six? I think I did. You're going to need some. Uh, need to make some more copper cables, and we're going to make an advanced circuit. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. Apparently, I borked it. Uh, never mind. I see what I did wrong there. Crappy mouse. Alright, take this out, and we're gonna make some refined iron by putting some iron ingots again. You're gonna need just one actually, so I'm not gonna waste any iron. Um, oh, okay. You wanna you have yourself normal iron furnace here, uh, as I showed you before. Refined iron, and you're gonna create a. Why don't I stack this? There we go. You create yourself a. Right, I'm in the middle, redstone in between, and that'll create an advanced circuit. Yes. Alright, so put the uh, red circuit in the middle, iron uh, furnace down there, and place two pieces of redstone next to it, and you'll create yourself an electric furnace. And as the name suggests, it's a furnace. It's a furnace that runs off off of electricity. Oh, I explained to you something about this uh, buffer right here. As you can see, the entire thing is filled and it'll create, it'll try to lose that energy by putting it in a buffer. Right, so now this, a piece of lightning, indicates uh, it's also an internal um, buffer storage place. Um, look what'll happen if I take this um, a piece of copper cable away. Yes, um, this'll do absolutely nothing. What I'm going to do now, is I'm just going to do that, and you see this internal buffer is disappearing slowly. Wow, that, okay, that just made it one, this, that just made one piece of iron. I'm going to put that back, and it'll charge again. Alright, so we're just going to take this out, because it's pointless doing that. And it acts, it behaves just like a normal furnace would except for the fact that it's an electric furnace so you basically just set up a small home system with your own generator and uh, there are a l uh, like tons of different ways of getting electricity into that thing and powering that um, and later on you can also use this electric stuff in combination with pipes that will automatically craft stuff for you and it is amazing what you can do with it actually um, I'll be covering some of that in my next tutorial I hope you've enjoyed and it'll really help if you can raid and possibly subscribe if you really like it that much um, I do take feedback so if you don't like any th uh, if you don't like something you can always change that I'm very in o I'm a very open source person when it comes to that. So suggestions just leave them, PM me, message me, whatever.